So what happened to Judas? Judas fled. Jesus forgave Judas, but the betrayer could not forgive himself, nor accept Jesus' gift of forgiveness. So he took his own life. An easy death for a traitor? Some have said so. So then after the supper, then Jesus was captured? Yes. Though the hour was late, Jesus led us out into the country, into a garden called Gethsemane. This night you will all fall away. My friends, if the world hates you, know that it hated me first. Remember what I taught you. No servant is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. Indeed, the day is coming when anyone who kills you will think he is pleasing God. Lord, if there's danger here, let us depart. Listen to my words. The time is coming when you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. But I promise you, your sorrow will turn into joy. My father, the time has come. Glorify your son so that I may glorify you. As you sent me into the world, so I send these who you have given to me into the world. Sit here while I go and pray. Peter, John, James, come. My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch while I pray. What is the purpose of this night? The Lord fills our minds with moments of death, betrayal, sorrow, and rejoice. He brings us here to Gethsemane in the dark of night to pray. He is going to his father to seek his will. He is sorely troubled. Have we not done enough to lighten his load? See how he suffers. Should we go to him? He bid us only to stay and watch. Watch for what? Only us 12 know about this secret place. That is what unsettles me. We are 12 no longer. One of us is a betrayer. Why then would he choose us three to accompany him? I 
I feel that I cannot stay awake. I feel it too. The warm night makes me weary. We were watching ships. Peter, you stay awake and watch our Lord. Stay awake with me, brothers. What if this is how the betrayal happens? And we fail our master's command and fall asleep. Oh, stay. I will not fail you, Lord. I will stay awake all night. Keep watch. What? Could you not watch with me for one hour? Forgive me, Lord. I failed you. And spirit is willing. The flesh is weak. Watch and pray so that you will not enter into temptation. Is no. Hand. Huh? Brother. No. Put down your weapon. Remember what I taught you. He who lives by the sword will die by the sword. Put down your weapon. Jesus of Nazareth. I am he. This is a tale for the ages. You swear it all happened as you say? Every word. So they took Lord Jesus, I mean, <laughs> your Lord Jesus, and they crucified him. Tell me of that. It was um, witnessed by many. But Jesus, our Lord, was crucified. Just as it was prophesied, he uh, had to die. I don't understand. Why did he die? Why did he not call his angels to save him, use his power to come down from the cross, anything to avoid the horror of crucifixion? At last we come to it. You are clever, Martinian. You are thoughtful. Think back to all that I have told you of Jesus. So, Jesus said he would be glorified in death. So he must have planned on being betrayed. 
So his death was a sacrifice, but a sacrifice of what? We were speaking of sin. So the sacrifice was for a sin, but what sin? He was pure and had none. So he died for a sin that was not his own. Go on. Since we've sinned, he must have died for our sins. So when he died, he sacrificed himself for all our sins. Martinian, you do understand. No. No, I... I don't know. I think it was better when I didn't know any of this. I don't think I'm ready. If I become a follower of Jesus, I might be persecuted and die like you. How are you not afraid to die? I do not want to die, but I am not afraid of death. This life is temporary, just as Christ was raised from the dead into life. I and all who believe in him will be raised from the dead. Don't forget, I saw the risen Christ. I know he died. I saw the empty tomb. But more than this, I saw the risen Lord. I walked with him. I talked with him. And ate with him. He is alive. I must think on this. I must speak to my wife. My love, what news? What? Have you gone mad? You haven't left this spot. You must go home. You've been here the entire night. I wait to hear Simon Peter's answer. Why did you make me ask that question? You are a man grown. You may do as you wish. You make threats I can't ignore. No. I was as curious as you. I've gone too far. And now I am unsure. Unsure of what? Everything. The gods. The world, the afterlife, myself. But I will not endanger you by accepting this faith. Martinian. No, no. You are my wife, and I am your husband. It is Martinian. my duty to protect you. I am putting my foot down. We will hear no more of these Christians. My love, I am already a Christian. How? How did this happen? There was a slave who told me of Jesus, a girl from, from the market, told me the words of Christ. I met her in secret and we talked, many times. When she took ill, I tended her deathbed. My love, she, she had no fear of dying. She had a peace that was indescribable. She was meek, gentle, kind. She was the least. And she shall stand first next to Christ in heaven. When death took her, she smiled as if she could already see his face. I have that same peace, Martinian. If I were to die tomorrow, I have such rest in my heart. My beloved Martinian, do you not desire to have that same, that same rest in your heart? Call to Jesus in prayer. Ask him to forgive your sins. Ask him to be your savior from sin and punishment. 
I do not believe my ears. I am married to an outlaw. Do you love me? You know I do. With all my heart. Then you must choose. For my path is with Christ. Where does your path lead? I don't know. You have taken counsel with Simon Peter himself. You have heard the truth from his lips. But what more do you need to hear? Nothing. I need nothing more. <laughs> do you still seek his blessing? Wait here. Christ has victory over you. My fate is sealed by Christ. I just have one last question. Where did you find the strength to become the man that you are? From an ordinary fisherman to a great apostle. People line up just so that your shadow might fall on them. And what caused this transformation? It was all God. Jesus chose me. He walked with me and taught me. He gave me the Holy Spirit to guide me, and God has a plan for you, too. The wager is yours, Simon Peter. You have won. I have decided. I will stand with you and as Christ is my Lord. Now come, I will take you out of here before the shift changes. Jesus Christ welcomes you. With honor and love, Martinia. But I cannot go with you. That would only endanger you. I will die. Oh, curse it, old man. I thought you would say that. Hold on. Through here, hurry. What have you done? You would not come to her. What else would I to do? This is dangerous. Simon Peter, Apostle of Christ. I beg you, give me your blessing. Novella, is your life given over to Jesus? Do you claim him? to be your Lord and salvation. Yes. Then you shall be blessed as you desire. Accept this blessing in the glorious name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Processus. Processus, what are you doing? Do you like persecution so much that you want to partake of it? You heard his words as well as I. Did you not hear the truth in them? I don't. They were just stories. What of Christ, the man himself? His words, his followers spreading across the land, fulfilling prophecies, performing miracles, risen from the dead. He was that a is rebel. Story. And his followers were outlaws. That is what the Empress says. What do you think? Am I an outlaw? My wife? Would you see us tortured and killed? You're asking me to disobey my command. I'm asking you to think for your soul. The part of you that will live forever. Stop confusing me! Let go of your anger, your distrust. How dare you talk down to me? I'm arresting you! Let him into your heart. Shut your mouth! Save yourself! I said shut up! <laughs> Martinian! Stop! 
fight me all you want. I am your friend and I love you. Christ, our Lord loves you. Come, Drosesis. Receive Jesus as your savior and be free of all your sins. God the Father, you have given us salvation. Touch these hearts as today they recognize their need for you. And they wish to accept Jesus as Lord. Processus, Martinian, pray with me. Lord, I accept Jesus as my savior, and I thank you for the forgiveness of sin. Lord, I accept Jesus as my savior, and I thank you for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. 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 Novella, you seek the blessing of Christ. May I ask, we are without child. I will withhold no good thing from those who love me, says the Lord. Go in peace. Thank you. How many times have I told the dogs? Political prisoners on the left, religious fanatics on the right. Do I have to do everything myself around here? You two, where's your prisoner? Just past dawn, you great louts. He's to be crucified. Bind him and take him. We need the cell for another. Who is it? Sir, another Christian. Saul of Tarsus. They're crawling out of the walls, these Christians. This is going to be the hardest thing I've ever done. Is it time? It's time, Simon Peter. The cell is required for another Christian prisoner. A certain Saul of Tarsus. Paul, my old friend. Teacher, I cannot do this. I cannot do this for all that you've done. For the sake of Christ our Lord, let us escort you to safety. My dear Martinian, that is exactly where I'm going. What I told you in the darkness, speak in the light. What I whispered in your ear, proclaim from the rooftops. You must go. Then take me to Jesus. And be quick about it. 
I can't bear to be away from him a moment longer. Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Not as the world gives peace, for in this world you will have many troubles. But take heart, for I have overcome this world. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Everyone who asks will receive. He who seeks will find, and to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. Remain in my love. Again I say, Remain in my love. And surely, I am with you always, to the very end of the age.